Hello powerful galactic beings of the ninth dimension, welcome back to another video. Supreme cosmic love and light to you all, as we continue to walk through this crocade road of spiritual ascension. Spiritual ascension has already started for a long time. And as you already know, it is a higher plane that follows a few stages of understanding and awareness. It is an ongoing process till one attains enlightenment. It gradually moves through many years, when an individual's perceptions and thoughts are aligned with the light energies of the divine. You ascend to a higher level of spiritual growth. You stay in the raised conscious level for a long time. You can realize many realities, sensing entities. You feel connected with a supreme and pure source of divine power. Ascension is the final stage of your spiritual journey. It leads to moksha or oneness with the powers of the universe. You have shed your past habits and move ahead to a higher realm of self-consciousness. Spiritual ascension has many purposes. The ascension process unfolds a new world of knowledge and opportunity that defines your purpose in life. It is an evolutionary process that may happen in one lifetime or many lifetimes. Each lifetime is a new experience and a stepping stone towards a new insight. The ascension journey ends when you develop clarity of thoughts and feelings. You have clear and honest answers to life's biggest questions. Self-exploration and self-mastery have been successfully achieved. Spiritual ascension is related with the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul is a timeline when you may feel lost, hopeless, depressed, and disconnected from yourself. Your existence as a spiritual being is in utter distress. You might have lost your true purpose in life. But this awareness is the start of a spiritual awakening. Your bioenergetic field activates leading to ascension. Your search for self-identity prepares you for a conscious uplift. The spiritual path of ascension is time-taking and follows a definite pattern. You need to move through the flow of time. Listen to your intuition and honor them as much as possible. The stages can be easy for a few people to follow, and difficult for others. Here are the five stages in the journey of spiritual ascension. Stage 1 is the stage of awakening. In the first stage, we are in the process of seeing a divine light which is pure and powerful. We try to become a part of that light by putting it in our realm of consciousness. This powerful light is the path of truth and wisdom. It gives you awareness of yourself and tells you who you are. And what is your true purpose in life? You grow and shine in this divine light. This change removes your negative energies and mind poisons, such as clichés. You can move on to the second stage of the ascension cycle. Now come the second stage. This is the time of cleansing. Your actual journey towards ascension begins here. Physical body and spirit guide you through a process called cleansing. It is the purification of the soul from negative thoughts, false perceptions, greed, anger, lust, and a host of other negative emotions. When you clean your thoughts, you rise up to a higher frequency of spiritual awakening. Cleansing helps to purify your aura. The physical and material world no more attracts you. You learn to embrace a life full of compassion, loyalty, love, and devotion towards self and others. After that comes the third stage, the stage of letting go of old patterns. Letting go is shedding old toxic behavior patterns that you were holding for such a long time now. You allow your body and soul to become free from material entrapments. Here, nothing may seem interesting. Your job, money, relationships may take a back seat. It's a detox process for you and it paves the way to achieve something new. Now comes the fourth stage, which is the stage of rebirth. When you let go of toxic emotions and physical pleasures, you are born again. Your mind is free from desires and greed. You can free yourself from material vices. The emotional and spiritual journey can become an everyday affair for you. Now, you are full of positive energy, truth, knowledge, and wisdom. You feel peace, love, and joy within and outside. The world appears to be beautiful and you can maintain balance in and around you. Now comes the final stage, which is the stage of ascension. When we are held in the energetic field of positive vibrations, it is easier for us to ascend and rise to a higher plane. It is a stage of spiritual growth. We are spiritual bodies full of purity and devotion towards a better life. The final stage of ascension is complete when bad elements are replaced with good and positive energy. Your soul is full of wisdom and truth. 
you realize your true identity and purpose in life. Spiritual ascension and awakening has a lot in common. Both these are the evolution process of growth that aims to merge with the supreme power of nature. Though the two terms are used synonymously, there is a thin line of difference between the two. Awakening is a process of self-discovery while spiritual ascension is a process of self-mastery. Ascension is the final stage of your spiritual journey. It leads to moksha or oneness with the powers of the universe. You have shed your past habits and move ahead to a higher realm of self-consciousness. On the other hand, spiritual awakening is the path of a spiritual journey where you discover yourself by kundalini awakening. The process starts at the base of your spine and moves up towards the head. In awakening, you get the first glimpse of a raised consciousness of self and the world around you. But in ascension, you stay in the raised conscious level for a long time. You can realize many realities, sensing entities. You feel connected with a supreme and pure source of divine power. Spiritual awakening gives you pure awareness of the unlimited potential that is lying within you. It gives the first clarity of who you are, and what is your true purpose in life. But this change is a process, and takes a longer period of time for some people. After a noticeable change in your thought process and deep emotional well-being, there is a tendency of slowing down the process. A stable stage arrives when the process becomes flat. It stays in a particular layer for a long time. Now, you are sure of life goals and purpose. The old toxic patterns of your psyche have changed. You are shining within with pure love, truth, and wisdom. There is a shift in your values. You know your priorities and do not crave to attain earthly desires. Your inner world is changed into a pure realm where desires do not find a place. At this point, you are driven towards a search of ultimate truth that leads to a fulfilling life. The flu-like symptoms of ascension may last for a few days or even weeks. Once you realize your true self, the symptoms disappear. However, there are a few ascension symptoms that may cause a serious challenge. You may experience discomfort, psychological struggles, and emotional turmoil. As you move through this path of spiritual growth, you may need some relief from the overwhelming symptoms that this process causes. Few tips may be helpful to put back good mental health. Let go and change your perspectives in life. You will have to accept the change that is happening within you and around you. Practice breathing exercises to calm down your wandering mind. You may take a spiritual bath such as a saltwater bath, which is a ritual done to calm yourself down and relax. Pay attention to your senses to understand the various changes occurring. Try to understand and grasp it. Guided meditation is an effective tool to be practiced in everyday life. It is very important to know that the process brings in a lot of emotional problems that may be disturbing and painful. The path of the spiritual journey is not as easy as it sounds. Your soul seeks freedom from earthly ties. You need to shed old identities and pave a way for a fresh start. Spiritual ascension is a growth process that connects you with natural energies. It is a process of self-mastery that brings in major changes in the way you think, feel, and act. As you expand your conscious domain, you may feel overwhelmed physically, mentally, and emotionally. The ascension is an individual process specific to each being. Collectively we can co-create the new earth we want to go to, just before the final event of the great solar flash, when the earth will be completely evacuated. But the ascension process is unique to each being. Each being has its own connection with the divine source, and soul matrix, and it is only through its own evolution, through love, forgiveness, healing, that it can ascend. When the time comes, the access portals to higher dimensions, 5D and above, will be available. But the access stairs are unique to each being, and the key to open the door at the top of the stairs is within the heart. Each being will be presented with a portal when ready and only he or she can decide to pass it. The ascension implies a teleportation process by Stargate, assisted by beings from the highest spheres and by the spiritual guides of each being, where the physical body does not die. Although the being is alone making its passage, after this, the teams and guides will rearrange the particles of the same, depending on the degree of mastery reached by the being. For example, if you go to 5D, your body will be reconfigured to a less dense physical form than 3D. If you go to a 9D, your body will be reconfigured to a pre-matter liquid crystal light state, light body. If you have reached a higher level, you will turn into an eternal conscious light, or even conscious vibration, the goddess and god state. 
As we are ascending into the higher dimension, the Earth, solar system, galaxy, as well as the entire universe, is in an ascension process as well. In fact, the entire cosmos. Thus it was decreed by the primary source and therefore it is managed by the consciousness of the all, which is our own superconsciousness. I can say, from my own multidimensional experience, that the upper dimensions of the ancient shadow universe no longer exist, they have been absorbed by the great cosmic mother. Only 4D and below still exist, and as the universes ascend, the remaining dimensions of the shadow universe will be absorbed by the mother goddess. It is an irreversible process. The order is to ascend. For now, humanity's immediate concern is its own ascension, since the earth will go through the restructuring process in the near future. But what happens to the being who does not choose to ascend? The physical body of the being will die and its soul will be transported to a 4D of another planet in ascension, according to its stellar origin. The Earth will no longer have 4D, the terrestrial astral plane. Understand that beings of dimensions greater than 3D cannot overcome the process of ascension, which is internal. Not only positives cannot save anyone as many people think, but neither negatives cannot impede the process of each being's choice, because they have no power to do so. We only give them power when we remain in the energy of fear, revolt, revenge, and all other negative emotions. The positives are here to help us with physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual healing, as well as cleaning the environment, removing negative technologies, etc. They cannot liberate us, since liberation is internal and not external. Don't wait for a financial reset, or liberation from the domain of evil cabals, to work on your healing and ascension. Do it right now. Disconnect yourself from the accusations, either to one side or the other, that you see on the internet or the media. We are all connected, with each other, through soul fractals that have intertwined. Hence the 144 manifestations of the higher self. All are connected karmically, human, draconian, pladian, lyrian, syrian, reptilian and so on, whether positive or negative. Disconnect yourself from the outside and connect to the inside. Resolve your negativity, your fears, your traumas. Seek healing and ascension, for the world, we will never be the same again. We can say that, you must go to the mountain, because the mountain will not come to you. Believe that the event has already started, this is just one of the phases and more phases will come. Peace to the gods and goddesses. Peace, love and supreme life.